Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. We are going to be solving this engineering mechanics a problem and it treats the particle travels along a straight line, a straight line path y is equal to 0.5x if the x component of the particle's velocity is uh, v in the x direction is 2t squared where t is in seconds determine the magnitude of the particle's velocity and the acceleration when t is equal to 4 seconds. Solution. So we've been given uh, the velocity in the x direction which is also x dot is equal to 2t squared and uh, asking us to find uh, the particle's velocity and acceleration when t is equal to uh, is equal to 4 seconds and we've got y there which is equal to 0.5x uh, all right so uh, Velocity in the y direction will be equal to uh, d dy. However, we are going to use chain rule. Um, now, if you want, we can convert back this velocity in the x direction into um, a function, uh, meaning to x as a function of time, and then replace it in the equation y is equal to 0.5x. Or we can go directly. So vy is equal to dy dx uh, times uh, dx um, dt. Because we know that our dx dt is equal to x dot, which is equal to 2t squared, right? So we can also do this. So our velocity in the y direction, dy dx, okay, this is going to give us a 0.5, dx dt is the same one, which is given to us, okay, which is x dot, so this is going to be equal to by 2t squared, all right, so therefore this one gives us a t, a t squared, all right, so with this information, then our v of x at 4 seconds gives us a 2 by 4 squared. 4 squared is 16 by 2 is 32. And the v of y at 4 seconds is going to be equal to t squared. t squared is 4 squared. Is 4 squared. Is 4 squared, which is equal to uh, 16. All right. So with the two, uh, with the two, we are able to find the magnitude, which is equal to uh, v x squared plus v y squared, which is equal to thirty two squared plus sixteen squared. So this gives us thirty two squared plus sixteen squared. So that gives us. A 35.78 meters per second. So this is the velocity at t is equal to four is equal to four seconds. We are finding a 35.78 meters per second. Then for the acceleration, we know that the acceleration in the x direction is going to be equal to the double dot which is equal to dv of uh, dv dv x with respect to dt and this will give us uh, this will give us uh, 2 by 2 by t which is a 4t okay and then uh, acceleration in the y direction is y double dot so this is going to be equal to dy with respect to dt and this is going to be equal to a 2t right and then acceleration at t acceleration at t is equal to 4 seconds this is going to be equal to 4 by 4 which is equal to 16 
and acceleration in the y at 4 seconds is going to be equal to 2 by 4 which is going to be equal to 8 therefore the magnitude of acceleration is going to be equal to 16 squared plus 8 squared and then we have um, 16 squared plus 8 squared root of 320 gives us a 17 a 17 point 89 meters per second squared all right so we have acceleration at t is equal to four seconds it's going to be equal to 17.89 meters per second squared So we found the acceleration at those ty different time. I mean, at that same time interval, which is four seconds. I hope the video was helpful. Please continue liking, subscribing to my channel. Bye bye, and see you in my next screencast.